Hey guys, Rob Potter here. I'm back with a, another look at watermarks. This time how to create a copyright symbol as a watermark inside of Adobe Photoshop. Now, this is, again is the second video of a bit of a, I guess a series, if you will, of creating watermarks for your images. So if you haven't watched the very first one, what I would recommend is jumping back and watching that because not only do I show you guys how to create a text-based watermark for your images, but I also talk about watermarks and the two reasons why you should use them. One being to protect your images, but the second one is a bit more of a positive look. So I'm not gonna tell you, I'm gonna make you jump back and watch that, that tutorial. However, if you have watched the tutorial, um, welcome and let's get into it. So basically, again, I wanna create a copyright symbol for this watermark. And again, if you're wondering where this is, probably looks very similar to the last one, um, but this is Dawes Point Reserve in, uh, in Sydney. So let's create a copyright symbol. Very, very easy. Fantastic thing about Adobe Photoshop is there are so many things inside it. Now, again, you can do this with any version of Adobe Photoshop, and I'm, I believe this is probably also in Elements as well. I'd, I'd take a good punt uh, that this is inside Adobe Photoshop, what I'm about to show you. So, we need the Custom Shape Tool. Now, if you've never heard of the Custom Shape Tool, it lives in your tool palette, and if we go down below our font type, sorry, our text tool that we used before, by two, you can see this little sweely sort of style of starfish. If I click on that, this is actually my custom shape tool. Now if I click and hold, you can see I've got a few different things here. So if you don't see that, you might see a square or a you know circle or something like that. It's definitely in here. And you can see that anytime on your tools palette, whenever you get this, these little um, arrows in the bottom right hand corner, it means there's more stuff underneath those tools. And actually I believe that they all have it, yes they do. So let's left click and hold, and that'll give us our drop down menu. And now I'm not clicking, I'm just sort of moving out, dragging my mouse over the custom shape tool, which I'm gonna left click to select that. Now, sort of like the text tool from before, anytime you select any one of these different tools inside our toolbar, you're gonna to get different options for your tools. The one we're after, if we come over to shape, you can see that the great thing about Adobe Photoshop is it gives us all of these shapes to use. Now, you might open it up and you, get, you might go, well, hang on, um, I don't actually have that many tools, or shapes, I should say. If that happens, you can see you got this little wagon wheel thing over here. If you click on that, you've got all these different things available to you. So you can see you can come down here, you've got animals, let's go okay, so I've just got my animals, um, music, so I've got, I go okay, I've got music, or if you just want to do like I do and just go all, just go there, down there and go all, we'll go okay. And now I've got all of the shapes loaded up in here ready for me to go. And you can see there's quite a few uh, few shapes in there, some really, really cool ones. Um, you know, I've used these for the photo walk guys, the little footprints, um, yeah, different things. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna use this as, as an example for the next tutorial, which is about watermarking, but how to create a, like a little graphical watermark uh, sorry, how to create a graphic or logo and, and to be used there multiple times for your logo. But we're after we come down here, we can see we've got our little copyright. So I'm going to click on that and move over and just sort of click out there to hide that drop down menu. And now again, let's create, let's um, not, we won't worry too much about where we're going to position it from right at the moment. We can always move that afterwards. But unlike a text layer, what I want to do is I do want to create a brand new layer. So I'm going to come down here to my little new um, new layer icon. Click on that. It gives me my new layer, layer one. So I'm going to rename that by just double clicking on the name. I'm just going to call that watermark or let's call it copy. Copyright. All right, cool. So now we're ready to rock and roll. Um, a couple of things I guess to be mindful of. Up the top left hand corner, the very first option we have, it says they pick tool mode, is we have shape, path, and pixels. Now, what I would recommend is picking shape um, for the reason I'll show you. So let's come down now and let's drag out. You can see that I can, I'm just left clicking and dragging out. You can see I'm getting all these weird things. If I hold down the shift key, you can see that keeps it in proportion. So without the shift key, weird things and then hold down the shift key and it's nice and in proportion. So I'm going to let go, whoops, I think I let go of shift key a little bit too soon, but you can see that I've now got a solid um, shape and I've got all these weird looking things. Now, that's actually a path. Now, I should have actually picked the wrong mode, um, but sort of a good thing. 
Um, what I actually wanted was a different one. So let's go and undo. I mean, you can use that. I can now just sort of click my move tool. And as you can see, I've got that. So it still does the same thing. I can now come along and sort of move that wherever I like, which is awesome, what we want. So you can use that. Uh, so I can just gonna drag that down to the bin to remove that. I'll create a brand new layer again. I could have just undone. Um, but I'll come over again to my custom shape tool. There it is. Path. Now, path will just give you um, sort of, again, a, a path. Now, I don't want to get too involved inside of Adobe Photoshop, but it's basically sort of like guides and that sort of stuff where I can come in and I can manipulate them with a pen tool and that sort of stuff and adjust it, make it look all sorts of different. Um, and I can still fill that. I'm not going to muck around with it too much. So I want to try and keep this fairly simple. But I just want to sort of... I don't, the reason I'm showing you this is because you might run into this whenever you're working on it inside of Adobe Photoshop. So if you do any sort of a custom shape tool and you drag out and it looks like that and you go, oh my God, what's going on there? Uh, you'll know what to do. So again, I'll just go Command or Control Z to undo that. And I'll come back up here and this is what we want, pixels. Nice and simple, let's keep it simple. The whole kiss rule. Um, so pixels. Again, click hold, left click hold and drag out. And then I'm gonna hold down the shift key to keep that in proportion. And you can make it as big or small as you like. We can always again go and uh, go and change the size of it. So I'm happy with, with that. So I'm gonna let that go there. And now this is pretty much the same as the text. And so now we can work out, well, do I wanna position it over here? Do I wanna position it in the middle? Do I wanna make it a little bit bigger by going back to our free transform tool and so sort of Dragging that out, yeah, position that wherever I like again, hit enter to confirm that. Okay, so basically got a very big copyright symbol. And then like what we do with the text, I can also now drop the opacity of it as well. So I can drop that down so that it's not so harsh. So it's just sort of just there. Okay, now obviously you probably wouldn't do that with a copyright symbol. What you might actually do with this is let's make that a bit smaller. So I'm just going to go undo back to sort of that size. And we'll move, let's move it out of the way for a second, move it down there. But what you might actually do is you might actually combine this with your name. So like what we did with uh, the very first watermark that I showed you with the text, um, again, I'll just come down here and click and I'll type out photography hot spots. And again, you might use this now in conjunction with your copyright symbol. So you've got that there and you can see I've got two layers and I probably should rename that layer. So I'm just going to double click on that and call that copyright. That way we don't get confused. Not that you would, but you know what I mean. All right, cool. So I've got that. I might drag that to the front. It's a little bit big. So I'm going to, again, go edit and free transform. And if you're wondering what the uh, shortcut for that is, command or control T, depending on what you're using. And this time I'm going to hold down the shift to keep it in proportion. I'm going to hold down the Alt as well, left click. So a couple of things there. Again, Shift, Alt, and then left click and drag in. And that'll resize it from the center, which is really handy. Okay, cool. So happy with that. I'll tick that little tick. So again, we can go from the start. We can go to the end, wherever you might want to put it. Um, I might go to the end, I think. Let's go to the end there. And then selecting both of them, what I can do now is I can start to position them wherever I like. And again, it's gonna be really a personal choice of how big or how small you make it, completely up to you, and I'll leave it, I'll leave that up to you. But with, with both of them selected, if you did wanna make it a bit smaller, and again, with both of them selected, if I now go Edit and Free Transform, I can now actually resize both of them together. So holding down the Shift key to keep it in proportion, drag that down, that's probably a, a bit of a better size. Hit the confirm, and there we go. That's how you get a copyright symbol into your watermark to be used inside Adobe Photoshop. Hope that's helped, guys. Again, stick around for the next tutorial in which I show you guys how to create a little graphic or icon um, or logo um, as your watermark, and one that you'll be able to reuse over and over again inside your images. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.